Greetings and welcome to the Military Affiliated Student Services webinar for prospective students at UNCW. I am so excited that you're interested in learning more about our program, so let's get right into it. We're going to go over the definition of military affiliated at UNCW. We're going to discuss benefits for our students, and we're going to talk about how to access your Veterans Affairs educational benefits. We'll talk about military tuition assistance programs and we'll go over the application process before reviewing some of our contact information. First, as you can see, we have a lot of different varieties of military affiliations here. We have students who are currently serving in the military, students who have uh, finished with their time in the military as veterans, and then we have military spouses, military dependents, and we have representation from all different branches of the service. Our students are everywhere at UNCW. Military affiliated students are about 13% of the total student population here. So whatever academic program you're interested in and whatever extracurricular programs you're interested in, whether you're taking classes online or in person, whether you're coming in as a transfer student or as a traditional first year student, whether you're going to be part-time or full-time, there's a very good chance that you will be taking classes and interacting with other people from the military community. By the way, you do not need to be using any Veterans Affairs educational benefits or military tuition assistance in order to be considered part of the military affiliated family at UNCW. One of the benefits that we offer all our military affiliated students is the Office of Military Affairs. We are an advocacy office and we're located in a building called Veterans Hall on campus. And we have three full-time staff. All of us have significant experience personally with the military community in a variety of affiliations. So we look forward to meeting you and getting to know you as you get started here. We did want to call your attention to our self-service website. Of course, I recognize that you have gone to the website already in order to find this webinar, but I did want to point out that we have a special page for the Office of Military Affairs. Um, I've circled it on the left there. You can find us on the main uncw.edu page if you forget how to find the Military Affairs page. And then on the right, I've shown you some of the more important tabs for you to pay attention to on our site. So you can see we have one for how to use your VA benefits at UNCW. Um, one for thinking of applying to UNCW, which is where you are right now, and one for uh, students who have been newly admitted to UNCW, and that one has the checklist of everything you can expect to need to take care of before you become a student here. We do offer an orientation that is in addition to the main UNCW orientation that you'll be required to take. Our military affiliated orientation is free, it's virtual, and it's self-paced. We host that in Canvas, which is the university's learning management system. And what's nice about that is that it allows you to get into Canvas and get familiar with it before you even start classes here. You'll receive a welcome email from the Office of Military Affairs after you have been admitted to the university, and that will have the link to enroll in this orientation course. And from there, you can review the video features and links. And we do consider this kind of a one-stop self-service introduction to topics like getting started with the post 9 11 GI Bill. Again, our office is located in the Military Affairs Wing in Veterans Hall. Fun fact, Veterans Hall is the only building named Veterans Hall on a university campus anywhere in the nation. And the reason we named Veterans Hall Veterans Hall is because UNCW has a proud tradition of supporting the military affiliated community. It got its start as a GI Bill school back in the 1940s. So we are continuing that tradition today. We have a beautiful reception and lounge area, a kitchen and a dining table. We always have free coffee and snacks. We have an iPrint copy station, a quiet study room for those of you who might be commuting from say Jacksonville area or other counties with a long drive to get to campus. We have a conference room and we have a lot of comfortable seating and study nooks throughout the space. One more benefit for all military affiliated students here is the military payment plan. And you would be able to access this through your e-bill once you've enrolled in classes here after completing orientation. And um, this divides the bill into three payments over the course of the semester meaning that you're paying less on each installment um, instead of paying for the whole bill up front. So that is a benefit that is again offered to all military affiliated students. You don't need to be 
using VA benefits or anything in order to access this payment plan is just available to you if you self-identify as military affiliated on your application. We do also offer some scholarships designated for military affiliated students and those use the UNCW general scholarship application which is available from December to March of each year. Let's talk about some benefits that are specifically for student veterans at UNCW. We offer our student veterans, which includes anybody serving currently on active duty in the reserves or in the National Guard, we do offer you priority registration. And that means that you get to register ahead of most of the rest of the student body population. Um, and what that does for you is it allows you to get into the courses that you need so that you can stay on track with your post 11 GI Bill. We do offer discounted parking permits for these students, and we have a couple of designated parking spaces around campus that are just for student veterans. We do accept military transfer credit, and in fact, we're constantly expanding how much military transfer credit we will accept. So that is very good. And then we have a military leave of absence policy in case you are called to deploy or you're called away to an extended training during the middle of the semester, we are able to release you from that semester and you can come back in at a later date. Let's talk about those Veterans Affairs educational benefits. We've got post 9-11 GI Bill, known as Chapter 33, the Montgomery GI Bill, Chapter 30, the Dependents Educational Assistance Program, Chapter 35, and the Fry Scholarship. We also have Veteran Readiness and Employment, VRNE. We used to call this one Vocational Rehabilitation or Voc Rehab. The step number one, if you want to use Veterans Affairs educational benefits, is to apply for the benefits. You're going to do that at va.gov, and you're going to find some questionnaires there that will help you find the right application for you. If you're not sure which benefits you might be eligible for, the best thing to do is to reach out to the VA using their email feature on the Contact Us page. They're actually very good about responding to emails through that feature. If this is the first time you're using a VA benefit at any school, or if you're changing the kind of benefit you're using, for example, if you had been using the post 9-11 GI Bill, but now you're going to be using Chapter 35, Dependents Educational Assistance, then you would use the application called Apply for a New Benefit. If you're transferring from another school where you used the same benefit, let's say you were enrolled somewhere else and you were planning to transfer to UNCW and to continue using the post 9-11 GI Bill once you get here, then you would use the application to update your place of training. The VA will notify you once your application has been approved and they will send you a letter called the Certificate of Eligibility and you'll forward a copy of that letter to our Office of Scholarships and Financial Aid, which is where our VA certifying officials work. Step two is going to be to certify your enrollment and basically you're going to confirm that you want to use your VA benefits for the upcoming term after you've registered for classes. Usually you're going to register for classes during orientation. Some of you will register for classes before orientation because you have priority registration. At that point, our VA school certifying officials will certify your enrollment to the VA. And it's important to note that the first time you use any VA benefit at a new school, there will be a delay in the first payment due to processing times from the VA. For military spouses and dependents who will be using transfer post 9-11 GI Bill benefits, the sponsor must transfer the benefit through the Mill Connect website while they're still on active duty. And after that transfer has been approved in Mill Connect, the student needs to go back and complete steps one and two as listed on the previous slides. In other words, completing the transfer of benefits through Mill Connect is not enough to be able to start using your benefits at UNCW. You still need to apply through the VA and confirm uh, your enrollment for our certifying officials. If you're using the post 9-11 GI Bill and you have 100% of the entitlement, you do not need to prepay your tuition, mandatory fees, security fee, or student health insurance fee at UNCW. After you confirm your enrollment certification, your course registration will be held in place while UNCW awaits payment from the VA. If you're using the post 9-11 GI Bill, your tuition and fees payments go directly to the school, while the monthly housing allowance and book stipend are paid directly to the personal bank account you have listed in e-benefits. Let's talk about residency or in-state tuition. 
All students will complete the North Carolina Residency Determination Service process to determine their eligibility for in-state tuition as part of their UNCW application. In-state tuition is not awarded automatically to military affiliated students. So you may receive a determination from the North Carolina Residency Determination Service that indicates that you're considered a non-resident, which means you would not be given in-state tuition. If you're using the post 9-11 GI Bill, it only covers up to the in-state tuition rate. So for students who are using vr &E, the post 9-11 GI Bill, or the Fry Scholarship, you may be eligible to apply for the Veterans Choice Act, which allows the school to waive the difference between in-state and out-of-state tuition. You can learn more about applying for the Veterans Choice Act on our website. If you're planning to use Military Tuition Assistance, or TA, each branch of service maintains its own tuition assistance portal. You may find the link to your portal on the Military Affairs website at UNCW. And if you do not see your academic program listed in the TA portal for your branch of service, just email me, Melanie Nelson, to ask that we add that program to your portal. UNCW is growing and is adding new programs pretty frequently. So we'd add them as students request to add them to the portal so that you can apply your tuition assistance at UNCW. For any further questions about the cost of attendance for your desired program, you can email our third party billing office, thirdpartybilling at uncw.edu. They are the ones who will process your tuition assistance so they will know how to help you figure out your bill. Let's talk about the application process particularly for active duty service members and veterans. Active duty service members receive a fee waiver for the application and active duty service members or veterans who have served for at least two years in the military may apply as transfer students. You will need to request your official high school and college transcripts if you've attended any other schools and you will need to request your joint services transcript. You can email militaryadmissions at uncw.edu for assistance with the application process. And if you're planning to join one of the commissioning programs, I recommend that you email militaryadmissions at uncw.edu to get started um, tracking down the additional paperwork that you need to complete to enroll in your program. That's all I have for you today. You can always email militaryaffairs at uncw.edu for assistance, and you can visit our website uncw.edu slash military to learn more about becoming a military Seahawk. I hope to see you soon. Have a good one.